Hey guys, it's me, Chris from Kids Perspective, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the side rails on your Nintendo Switch. A Kids Perspective. How to's. Now, the main issue with my Switch is that the controllers would often disconnect. The problem is, is that while I'm playing, one of the controllers will disconnect, and it might interrupt my game. You see, I've already tried replacing the Joy-Cons, but the same problems still seem to occur. So I started thinking, maybe it's the side rails I need fixing, and that is what I am going to show you today. The tools you are going to need is a screwdriver with a small Phillips bit, a small Y bit. You're also going to need a plastic separator like this guitar pick, and a toothpick because that will come in handy later. The first thing you have to do is power down your switch. Make sure there are no game cards or SD cards in it. Now we're going to take off the Joy-Cons, and what I'm talking about here is this metal part here. Next, you're going to be taking off the following screws. Using your Y bit, you're going to take off the screws on the back, on these corners. And using your Phillips screw bit, you're going to take off the screw behind the kickstand, the screw underneath, near the charging port, the screws on the rails, only take out the middle screw for now. And a screw on top. Then using your plastic pry tool, we're going to take off the cover. Don't be too rough with it. Take your time so you won't break the cover. There we go. Now using our Phillips screwdriver, we are going to remove these screws here to remove the metal cover. We should make note of that because I didn't mention this one. Next we are going to take off this little chip. You just have to pull it right out and it comes right out of the socket. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we are done taking off the metal cover, we are going to use our pry tool and carefully unplug the battery, like so. Now this is very important. Do you see this ribbon cable here? Well, it connects to the rails, so it's very important that you know the routing of the ribbon cables when reassembling. So I recommend taking a picture. So to take off the ribbon cables, you flip the switch here and you release them. I want to be as careful as possible. Is After disconnecting the ribbon, you would want to take the rest of the four screws out. Now this is our old one. We're gonna replace them with new ones and hopefully that will fix our problem. Now we are doing the same thing on this side, lifting up the ribbon cable and pushing it out. Now that our old rails are disassembled, we're going to install our new rails. Now remembering the format of our old ribbon cables, we're going to try our best we're going to try our best to install them the same way. I'm going to leave this here. There you go. And make sure that the end of the ribbon cable is in its housing. Make sure it's in there properly. Okay, it's locked. And now you can lock it. Now we are going to install the screws again, excluding the middle.
Now the other part is a little bit more complicated, so let me show you how to do it. First, you're gonna wanna make sure the brown part of the ribbon cable is facing up, and the other part is facing down. Then you're gonna wanna pinch it to have that little curve there. And then you're gonna wanna slide it into place, just like slow. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> then lock it into position. Then once it's locked, you twist it and set the reel into its position. You're gonna wanna make sure it's clearing this hole, which it already is. And now you're ready to screw in the screws. And remember to avoid screwing in the middle one. Phew, oh my goodness. Now we're going to replug the battery. And put the metal plate back on. As we are putting the metal plate back on, we're gonna make sure the ribbon cable stays away from that screw hole right there. Mm -hmm. There you go. There we go. Now we could screw in the screws again. There is a magnetic force on this side, so it might give you a hassle. See this connector right here? It connects right into there. Make sure you fill its seat properly. It should make a little click. There you go. Now, after installing our metal cover, we can put the plastic cover on. Now we're gonna reinstall our four Y screws. Now we are gonna reinstall the Phillips screws. Oh wow, it's very small. Mm -hmm. The smallest Phillips screw goes under this kickstand. There we go. Okay, now that everything is installed and reinstalled, let's test them out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I could already feel the difference. It feels a lot tighter and a lot more stable. Right now we're shifting them. And it seems like it's not disconnecting anymore. I think we did it. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope you learned how to replace your rails on your Nintendo Switch. Now I have two big tips for you. One is to make sure that your ribbon cables are properly seated when replacing your rails. I had to learn that the hard way. And number two, make sure your screws are in groups so you won't get them mixed up. Now, anyways, I'm your host, Christopher Shannon. If you liked the video, don't forget to share and subscribe. And remember, if I could do it, you could do it too. I'll see you next time. A Kid's Perspective. Ha ha ha!